Bang. My name is Shabbos Kestenbaum. I am a proud first-generation American. I am a proud Orthodox Jew. And as of five months ago, I am the proud plaintiff suing Harvard University for its failure to combat anti-Semitism. I came to Harvard to study religion, the foundation of Western civilization. What I found was not theology, but a contempt for it. My problem with Harvard is not its liberalism, but its illiberalism. Too often students at Harvard are taught not how to think, but what to think. I found myself immersed in a culture that is anti-Western, that is anti-American, and that is anti-Semitic. After October 7th, the world finally saw what I and so many Jewish students across this country experienced almost every day. When I planted 1,200 Israeli and American flags on campus, they were all vandalized within 24 hours. I was harassed by my peers merely for being a Jew and have received countless death threats online. Students and professors have openly called for new Hamas-style attacks against the United States. And perhaps most damning, when Hamas terrorists butchered 45 American citizens on October 7th, when they took 12 Americans hostage, Harvard refused to immediately and unequivocally condemn this atrocity. My fellow Americans, the anti-Semitic bigotry, unfortunately, extends far beyond the universities. Although I once voted for Bernie Sanders, I now recognize that the far left has not only abandoned the Jewish people, but the American people. The Democratic Party, the party I registered to vote for the day I turned 18, has become ideologically poisoned. And it is this poison, it is this corruption that is infecting far too many young American students. Let's be clear, the far left's anti-Semitic extremism has no virtue and the radicalism on our campuses and on our streets has no moral legitimacy. Sadly, Sadly, the far left-wing tide of anti-Semitism is rising. But tonight, tonight we fight back. I am proud. I am proud to support President Trump's policies to expel foreign students who violate our laws, harass our Jewish classmates, and desecrate our freedoms. elect a president who will instill patriotism in our school once again. Let's elect a president who will confront terrorism and its supporters once again. Let's elect a president who recognizes that although Harvard and the Ivy Leagues have long abandoned the United States of America, the Jewish people never will because Jewish values are American values and American values are Jewish values. God bless the United States. God bless the land of Israel. God bless, protect, and return the American hostages in Gaza now.